Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas right there and we're going to use that as soon as, oh, find my glasses, yep, there we go, and uh, I'm going to use my center shovel, am I? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do what I just did which was to attempt to create a gardenscape and that means that I'm going to be doing foliage, flowers, and sky. And this time, instead of starting with the foliage and the flowers, I'm going to attempt to start with the sky. We'll see how that works. And I wanted some flowers that were a lot different than the ones I had last time. We'll see if I can manage that. Right now, right here. I'm going to be ribbon pouring that. That is not the color I expected, but this is... Oh look, it's not very different. <laughs> I did not use enough yellow last time. So I'm going to pour some of that down in there, and I'm going to do the same thing with my white. And if I need more color, I will add more color. I really liked this uh, shimmering metallic green. I believe I added golden iridescent pearl fine to it. I want some more yellow in there. Even if it's an insignificant amount, it would be better than nothing. I'm going to clean off the tip of my skewer so I don't... There we go. So I'm going to put these aside in a moment, I think. I like this green a lot. I didn't use very much of it last time. I might have used a little bit of this. I know I put some purple in there, but I'm not sure it was dark purple. And I like the dark purple, but by the same token, I also like a little bit of the white, light purple. So now it's down to sky colors. And to put these away for a minute, put them the right way around so they won't dump, hopefully. Bring this over here, reintroduce those of you who are not familiar with my OXO omelette turning spatula to that. Make sure there's no schmutz, really. <sighs> not that it really matters. As long as it's not going to cause a lump, I'm all good with it. I'll just bury it. Really? That was a very full bottle of white yesterday. I guess I did a couple of paintings. Alright, so I liked having my nice moist white, white background. To work with my foreground colors. I'm always saying how much I like spreading paint with this miraculous OXO omelette turning spatula available on my Amazon link because I can see the stuff in it, pull it out before it dries in my painting. Most of the time anyway. I see that thing. Goodbye thing. I'm not going to worry about doing my edges until later because it gives me something to hang on to if that's what I want. It's not a hot day right now. It's the perfect temperature and nothing is blowing across my painting surface so the breeze is okay it's tiny tiny little breeze it doesn't get better than this the sun is going down so i'm not sure i'm going to get a good picture of this in the yard after but um as long as we have enough light to make one more recording and i can keep seeing the things i want to pick out of there with my fingernail my thumbnail to be exact i'm just going to run my finger down the edge of that yeah, too much talk. <laughs> Lots of paint spreading. I want this to be right. I had some marks. I might have been a little too fast in my last one. And there were marks in the sky area where I had expected to put clouds and did not. I think that's why they were there. I'm going to throw that in the bucket. Move that around. And this time I am going to try something different. I'm just going to dip my silicone basting brush right into my shovel. Make myself some big fluffy clouds. Because I can. The name of my book is Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link. <laughs> some of you know that. That big lot of white paint is going to come in very handy. So I don't know how many more clouds I want in my sky. I might have to use this paint for something else. I don't think it's going to hurt putting them way far down on the horizon line. I've got something right there I don't want. 
Um, I just want to take... Yeah, probably more than I should. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to put that aside and quickly rinse it off in case I want it again. Comes off pretty nice and clean. Good idea to dry it. Really nice and clean. Half of the bristles, three quarters of the bristles. Every other bristle is removed. Okay, so onward. Um, there's your sky. Now it's my sky. Let's grab the, um, let's grab the shovel. Oh, come on. I want some magenta, and I'm not sure why I didn't put it in that shovel of flower colors before, but I'm going to do it right now. And I might do a little bit right here, because I can. I'm sure that there is another way to do this, but I have not figured out what it is yet. I'm also sure I'm going to want some yellow, which I thought I was going to put a whole bunch more in, and didn't do. So I'm just going to use up all the paint I have. Because I put GAC 800 in my paint pouring mixture recipe, it means that when the paint is heavy and it dries, it doesn't crack. We like that. I'm just going to keep using whatever's in here and drop it around. and hope I can get something close to as cool as the last painting turned out. I still want some yellow, and I think if I want my yellow, I'm going to have to add it. I just had to play. All right. Let's think of them as buds. There we go. I don't know what that's going to be like. That's going in the bucket. My yellow is coming over here to play. Yeah, I just wanted some yellow. I also want some pink, actually. And I kind of want to take my bamboo skewer and see what happens. I'm going to make some wild flowers. Just by spiraling, 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 spiraling a few things around. The white paint will come right into whatever I'm pulling and create a new effect. I kind of want some greens in there, but I think that's what's coming next. I also want some of these colors on my edge this time. I've got pretty purples. I've got chains and I'm thinking about using one. That's too short. And I left my last one dirty. I've got clean chains. Slightly larger flowers than I was expecting, but that's okay. Some slightly different colored flowers than I was expecting, too. Maybe it will help when I have some green. I 
I think it will. That's a wild flower. No pun intended. All right, let's um, let's contemplate moving on. She said, "Not convincing anyone at all of her motivation." <laughs> uh. All right, so I've got cool paint over here. And I may want to add a couple of drops of this or that. Where's my... Yes. I like that purple a lot. It's very, very metallic and shimmery. Alright, so let's do our bottom because we can and I have bottom colors here. Now I did spread a little bit of, um, really? Okay, I gotta put that back. Hang on. It sealed itself up again, go figure. I'm gonna put some gold right down in my bottom, even though there seems to be quite a bit of it, before I add. going to let become part of the bottom. And I have, do I have? Yes, I do some more colors that I like. And I was using my basting brush and I think I'm going to do that again. That is not really the color that I expected there. That's okay, because I will make do. I think I need to get that spatula clean from the purple. I love just running my spatula up and down to make my grassy areas, my foliage areas, I should say. But I gotta keep remembering to clean off when I pick up the colors. I need to, down out of the flowers, I need to keep picking things up. I mean, I need to keep wiping things off. Yeah, that made sense. Well, I kind of like my sky. Neat. I, this is actually the first time I looked at it. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to dip my spatula, why do I want to call my basting brush a spatula? Gee, I wonder. Anyway. Now it's a little mucky green, but that's okay, because it's not staying mucky for long. I should have wiped it on the bottom of the canvas. It's the best thing to do with extra paint, is to cover your edge at the bottom. I really want to just take my... bamboo skewer because I know that white paint down there is going to create the effect of light reflecting off of the foliage except for that one which is orange. <laughs> hey that could still be the sunlight right? 
I'm going to take all of this paint right here because it's a great color. And then I'm going to wipe off that extra color. I'm going to let this paint go down over the edge. And I'm going to pick up what's in my shovel and use it over the edge also. I really want to uh, torch. I gotta keep remembering to wipe off whatever colors I pick up when I go up. I can go down safely, unless there's purple. <laughs> I can sort of go down safely, but uh, but uh, what? But I'm trying to focus <laughs> and talk and paint all at the same time, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, not right now, I'm not sure. which way it's going for me. But uh, there's some really neat stuff going on up there and I'm looking for bamboo skewer and I'm not finding it, but there's like a whole dish of them. So I like that right there. But I want some more drama. Yes, perfect. I have 32 seconds left on my clock. And I have um, a desire to steal some green and connect my flowers. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just taking a blob of green paint, attaching it right below the flower. Oops, I got some orange in there. All right, that means I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm gonna tell you. keep working or start the timer again. That is a lot of orange. Okay, well, I'm still having a pretty good time. So I could go on to another one, but I don't think I have really that much left to do. And I like what I have. So that's going to be me saying, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, trying to figure out what else to tell you other than I have Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook albums 1, 2, and 3 at the bottom of my uh, description underneath the video, along with my paint pouring recipe in the description underneath the video. And I have Teespring clothing underneath the video. I have an Amazon link that will take you to my book called Because I Can. And... <laughs> And, and, and. And if you shop my Facebook pages, you'll find my uh, pixels.com and Fine Art America. I hope that stays. I kind of like those th two things together very much. I'd like a little magenta. Probably would rather have it be pink, actually. But I can do that, too. And you guys are going to be gone soon. And as much as I like that color there, I'd rather have it be this color here. Whoops. I'm not sure that's going to stay. Anyway, so I love you guys. We got 52,000 subscribers, and I want to say thank you to everybody for helping me out. If you give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you watch as much of the video as possible. You definitely help me. But the thumbs up will increase my standing, put me in better placement on YouTube. So I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate all the contributions you've made in the past and that if you continue or somebody makes a contribution this month, you will be included in a contest where if your name is drawn around the beginning of April, I think it's like April 8th, you will have the chance to pick one of seven artworks I put in this month's contest and you can see any and all of those in the video on the end screens where you can also find a playlist with almost 500 videos of mine on it so if you like what I do you can watch some more but uh, if you look for the the, the video <laughs> with the prizes on it you'll be able to see what's up for grabs I'm probably gonna make a couple of adjustments I just need to look at this so I get it the way I want it without any strange weirdness and I guess I guess I better show it to you guys before you're gone because I think you'll be gone <laughs>